guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at the Discovery Auto Center in Tampa, Florida, and we have a Rady's Rides first. This is the first ever Volvo. This is a 2019 Volvo XC40, and the great news is this is the T5 trim, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's talk about Volvo. Volvo, that Swedish brand, that auto manufacturer, so many great years of rally history uh, to their accreditation so many safe models. Volvo has been about safety for so many years and even got themselves into uh, touring car racing, especially in the British Touring Car Championship. With this XC40, this is a model to go up against the small compact SUVs from BMW like the X1, the Mercedes-Benz GLA 250, and many of the other competitors in that category. Let's go ahead though, let's dive into this XC40 and see what makes it so great and what makes it so Volvo. Right off the bat, the styling, unique to the brand. I love the color on this particular one. I think it fits it to a T. Headlight design, very unique. You have full LED headlight design with daytime running lamps. You drop down, there is a bit of a zonk. What is this? This should be a fog lamp. Instead, it's a fake vent, so I am gonna zonk that. But other than that, the headlight design is spot on the money. We come across that iconic grill, the Volvo logo, so much history. Yes, Volvo is owned by a Chinese company, but they still put a lot of heart and soul, that Swedish heart and soul into the design and the engineering. I love the concave uh, look to the grill with the vertical slots. You come down, you have flat black and a little bit of silver, really breaks it up and gives it that SUV look to it. Now, when we get up onto the hood, it's got a nice flow, nice curve, two very prominent body lines, especially if you notice, look at how the way they curve back to the A pillar. We come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup is on this XC40, you are looking at a 19-inch um, wheel. So that's machined aluminum, gloss black, ventilated rotors. There's that iconic Volvo badge there. They are wrapped in Michelin tires, so nice, good quality tire. And on a 19-inch wheel, pops nicely. A little bit of flat black to give it that off-road look because with Volvos, they're really known for being very durable, very rugged. As we go down the fender, you can see how the hood comes down, forms a body line, and then that's gonna go all the way down the side. You have a little bit of flat black that comes up, nothing too much with the plastic cladding. I love the white roof. I think that that really makes it pop. You have color match mirrors, with very slim and trim on the LED turn singles, color match door handles, and then you can see just how aerodynamic the roof rails are on this thing. Of course, you can get crossbars, put a mountain bike up there, a kayak. We work our way back, look at this. We pick up a body line right here in the passenger door. That brings us back to the rear. You're gonna get a nice low roof spoiler. Very, very clean in the back. There's your XC40 badge, your Volvo badge, and like I said, T5 with all-wheel drive. So these Volvos, very capable. And like I said, there's a lot of rally racing heritage when it comes to the brand. We drop down a bunch of flat black and it works well with what's going on, on the side, a little bit of flat silver. And the nice thing is no exhaust. Everything is tucked up out of the way. Let's pop the hood though and see some of the surprises that I was talking about with this being a T5 trim. All right, guys, we got the hood pop. What's nice is, is that the engine is very, very low in the chassis. That's gonna help with handling, lower that center of gravity. I am zonking that engine cover. Very, very bland engine cover, but what is underneath that engine cover? With the T5 trim, the surprise is you're gonna have a turbocharged two liter inline four, 248 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. It's all mated through an eight-speed automatic transmission, and we're getting the traction down through an all-wheel drive system zero to 60, 6.2 seconds. It weighs around 3,729 pounds. And like I said, this is a perfect competitor against that Audi Q3, against the BMW X1 and the Mercedes-Benz GLA. But while we go ahead, we talked about the engine, the all-wheel drive and the transmission. Let's go ahead and check out the interior and see what makes a Volvo different from the rest. All right, guys, we're inside the Volvo XC40. It's incredible the styling in here. They really make it feel unique and make it feel special. If you're wondering, well, what is the price on this? Give one a call. The asking price is $33,900. It has 16,400 miles on it, so just about right on the mileage. 
door panels, let's go. So there's a lot of dark material. I do like the way the armrest has a nice split to it. You have the felt lining on the back of the door panel. I like the silver, even on the door handle to open it. It's simple, but it also looks nice as well. Very large pocket in the bottom of the door panel. You can put your, your Twinkies, your Swedish fish, and everything else down there uh, since we are driving a Volvo. Now, when we get to the dash, soft material. I love the shape of the AC vents. Very classy, like this silver trim. You don't need faux carbon fiber and all that mumbo jumbo. When you get to the center, there is a little bit of gloss black, but I'm digging it because it matches the AC vents, which you have two large ones. This is a nine inch screen, lots of functionality here. Now to get into your AC controls, you just hit this bottom portion here is where you're gonna swipe like that to get into your controls. You could actually increase your fan speed and everything, which is really nice. You go back and you can slide all different ways. We close that, you could get into your um, internet maps. So that really uh, allows you to get into your navigation and all that good stuff. We go back and then lots of swiping uh, features here. You can see all the safety features that you have, your cameras that you could access and whatnot, which is very, very nicely done. You hit the button, it brings you back. We could swipe back the other way. So you could see all of the different, the Bluetooth, your XM, FM, Sirius XM. You do have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which is also nice. Um, but a, a great functioning screen. You can see just how fast it swipes. So that's a very, very nice feature there. Drop down, it is a little bit on the harder plastic. You can see where they went harder on the plastic here. You have a, a simple start stop button. This is your volume control. You got different drive modes, comfort, off-road, dynamic, and eco. I'm gonna leave it in dynamic. You, I know that's how you guys like it. Large cubby down here. You could put about five bags of Swedish fish down here. Awesome accessibility you have a 12 volt a usb and a usb c and then look at this a little compartment for some uh toothpicks so you can pick the swedish fish out of your teeth two cup holders this is going to be controlling that eight speed automatic transmission of course you're going to have an electric e-brake key fob here is your volvo key fob good size almost looks like a cigarette lighter you have all the controls right here on the side nice touch you push here and this is going to open up here and then look at this if you're wondering what is this this is actually a trash can so volvo got you hooked up this is an actual trash can say say your kid gets sick after eating all those swedish fish you're on a long trip have them puke in this and then you take it out and you dump it one two three it's even got like a little uh cargo net for breath mints after they're done throwing up in it but that's the usability here this little trash can you got a bag a place for a bag of lace chips or if you want to stick with the swedish fish be my guest, you can. Seats, they're simple, but they look really great. I like the stitching, the, the leather is nice. Um, they are heated seats, which is a nice touch as well. Now on the passenger side, you do have manual back, but electric on the bottom. On the driver's side, you're gonna have electric both back and bottom. Even with the panoramic sunroof, lots of room, lots of space up here. Why don't you get on behind the business side of this wheel of the Volvo. I wanna show you what's going on in this XC40. Come on over. All right, guys, business time. You do have two memory settings for the driver's seat. There's that felt lining. If you're missing your kitty cat or your dog, you can pet that. Seat feels great. I was able to position it to my body. Steering wheel, nice thickness, simple on the horn button. You got a tasteful Volvo badge, flat black on the buttons, and then look at that 12 inch display. Clear, crisp, information in the center, speedometer, tachometer, your gears, that, uh, whatever gear indicator you're in, fuel gauge tells you what mode you're in. So that's a very nice layout, easy to understand. It's soft on the top, hard on the bottom portion of the hood to this gauge cluster, but overall very comfortable up here. Let's check out the back seat and see how your passenger is gonna like this XC40. All right guys, back seat time. There is lots of headroom. I do like the panoramic sunroof. You can see how the leather comes around. I'm zonking these. First of all, it's a plastic back. Zonk in these cargo nets. You put an abacus in here the wrong way, you're gonna rip right through your net. No guy likes a ripped net. You do have a pocket for Swedish fish or do the Twinkies, you know, break it up so that people aren't getting sick on the Swedish fish. There is a little bit of connectivity. You have one USB-C. I wish there was something else like a 12 volt. Seating position, you're kind of sitting pretty upright, but it's comfortable. You do have an armrest at a great height, two cup holders. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see how usable this XC40 is. 
All right, guys, cargo area time. We open it up, you push the button, it's electric assist. It is very high, just something to be aware, high to get in, but you know what? There's a lot of good usable room. 27.2 cubic feet of space with the seats up. You fold those seats down, you're looking at 47.2 cubic feet of space. Real easy to do, you're just gonna push right here and then you flip it right down. Nice, flat setup to it. I'll do the same over here. Boom, look at that amount of room there. Easy to do, easy to get things from front to back. The only thing is it's up a little bit high. You lift this up, you got a nice tray back here for uh, your, your um, security shade. And then you go further underneath that and this, they actually do give you a spare. So that's good news as well. So you're not stuck with just a can of flat fix and a, and a hope and a prayer. And then we lower that back down. And if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this Volvo XC40 for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Discovery Auto Center in Tampa, Florida. We're in the 2019 Volvo XC40 T5. Now remember, the T5 trim does give you more power and of course that wonderful all-wheel drive system that Volvo is known for. Now, one thing I've noticed right away as we pulled out of Discovery Auto Center is the car is very, very smooth. I like the way that the A pillars are pulled nice and wide apart. That gives you a great view out the front windshield. As we're coming down here, we have some interesting things going right, on. guys, as we're driving down this road, one thing I've noticed as well is it's very quiet inside the cabin. The seats, it's interesting. It, you would think at first they're too firm, but they actually, as you start driving down the road, uh, you start to understand that it's actually a balance between being firm and there's comfort there because they're supportive. Like I pointed out earlier, with the electric assist on the driver's side, you'll be able to get the seats to conform to your body actually fairly easily. Going over these speed humps, we just gotta slow down a little bit, um, but definitely very, very nice overall feel through the wheel. And I think that if you're gonna go the XC40 route, I think the smart thing to do is just go big instead of having to just go home and go the T5 trim. I think you're gonna be happier with the higher rated horsepower and of course the all wheel drive is so wonderful on these Volvos which like I said goes back many years they've done a lot of different forms of racing believe it or not a lot of people aren't familiar about that from rally racing to also track racing as well to develop this kind of technology but pulling away here let me go ahead and get a little bit of space I'm gonna get on the loud pedal the 8 speed drops down and you're off and running like I mentioned earlier 0 to 60 around 6.1 seconds so the good news is it's a nice balance between having a little bit of a rocket ship and being a snail you know we've done so many reviews of different suvs that are this size that are just the zero to 60 is too slow and I, and I know that we're not racing our small compact suvs but it's nice to have enough power to get out of the way if you need to get going very very quickly dash great setup that information display in front of the driver, real easy to see, nice clear fonts and graphics. And you know what's funny is, is when I first got into the XC40, I was a little dumbfounded by the infotainment system, but it actually makes sense very easily once you get used to it. And that's the wonderful thing about this particular vehicle. But you're gonna have tons of flexibility and versatility from usable space in that cargo area, especially if you need to put something bigger the larger opening at the back of the vehicle allows that to happen and the way that the seats fold down makes putting something in very, very easily um, and you don't have to fumble around with electric seats or any of that kind of stuff that you see in some other brands. All right guys, we're going down this road. It's a little bit torn up and I'm glad that we're going down it because it really does allow you to see just how well built this car is. There's not a ton of road noise and I'm not really getting any wind noise, which is great as well, but smooth, comfortable ride. And I really, like I said, getting the seat perfect to how you want it, it, it makes it so enjoyable and very easy to operate, especially in tight places. You know, that's the challenge with going with larger SUV is that you try to go through the drive-through, you try to park in a parking garage, and then everything is very, very cumbersome and, and you just don't feel confident. With this, I think it gives a nice balance between having enough room inside the vehicle, but also having that ability to get into tight places very, very well. But hopefully this gave you a great overview 
of the XC40, that T5 trim. We're gonna get back to Discovery Auto Center and wrap this one up, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful time with this Volvo XC40. It was great to bring it to you, the first Volvo on Radies Rise. I definitely gotta thank Juan and the rest of the crew here at Discovery Auto Center. They have a wonderful assortment of vehicles like this particular Volvo. What can I say? I think for a person that wants a little bit smaller SUV, wants something different than your Mercedes, your BMW, your Audi, and anything that's domestic or Japanese uh, branded, this XC40 might be the right fit for you. If these are the types of vehicles you wanna see on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, Click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. We're working the traffic here at Discovery Auto Center. Tom's working really hard. Thank you for your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.